from Metal Gods TV and I'm with SSS and it's... Foxy. Mark. So I watched you last night. What happened, mate? It was shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, really? I'm joking. No, it's good. Hey, your, it your, sentiment, your sentiment's as good as ours. <laughs> no, I was on the phone, Rob. It's brilliant. Were you? All right, mega. No, it was dead good. First time we played Hammerfest. And surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, because I want to say we did all right. And, I, I, and everyone who was there was stuck around, and it was it was packed, and I liked that. And the fact of, you know what I mean, our, our own little sound fella turned everything up to 11, and everything was raging. I, I loved it. It was dead good. So, yeah. Yeah, two thumbs up and a big I'm the first. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that. I love talking in a little metal styley when we come abroad. <laughs> abroad, we're only in Wales. It's sometimes easier abroad though to the signs. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in North Wales when I was a kid. Actually, seen the Sutty show in that room. <laughs> uh, that was donkeys years ago. In the, well, in, not, not, maybe not that room, but certainly in the Pontins. That's fucking out there. That's years ago. That's about 30 odd years ago. That. Yeah. Yeah. And the rest. Well, last night I was stood to your right, uh, the speaker to your right, yeah, and freaking, I got one massive feedback off of it. I think that was just when he turned it up. Uh, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. That and, that, that and Pete, Pete's cable dying, I think. I think that, that'll probably knock your eardrums out. Professionals, we are. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, we, people like to plug the latest album. Have you got one out at the moment? Uh, yeah, it's on, uh, it's called The Dividing Line. It's on Earache Records. And I think mean, you can still, you still get it with a free bonus DVD and all that gubbins that comes with it. So uh, yeah, 20 songs, uh, 20 songs in about 29 minutes, something like that. So all your listeners and watchers can do the maths on that. You guys from? Are you from Liverpool? Uh, I'm from the Whittle. And there is a di- there is a di- there is a difference. Uh, trees, trees and fresh air, and no doggy on the floor. And <laughs> on the few other three are from uh, Liverpool, where it's just concrete city. Yeah. Well, I, I must admit, my, I've only had one experience in Liverpool. I went to uh, watch a football match there in the 80s. I uh, uh, support Leeds. Uh, uh, long story. <laughs> and uh, I got off the train, and there was a little kid there, who was about eight years old. Just, Give me your fucking money or I'll slash you. And I thought, welcome to Liverpool. Welcome to Liverpool. It might be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to eat today. In fact, the first time I went to Leeds, you come out of Leeds train station, and where that cab rank is there, I saw two fellas fighting, and that was like, welcome to Leeds. <laughs> there was just two fellas going at it, Ammon and Tom there, which is sort of amazing. There's loads of urban myths going around, around Liverpool. Around. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if you drive back to Liverpool, make sure you don't drive too slow. Cause yeah. I love all that because it just, it just, um, yeah. I think it's still, you know, shady in a couple of parts. In fact, a few parts. But every city, in every country throughout the world, has got the good and the bad. It's just there's some stereotypes bubble up to the surface, and that's fine. Because treat yourself. Because where I'm at, where I am, I'm fine. I'm all right, Jack. Yeah, I'm all right, Jack. So, uh, I, I, you know, I've obviously been around, around the, the different countries and what have you. Is there any place that stands out to you? Thought we should have come here years ago. Um, what was that place? We, what in the UK or just anywhere? Anywhere. Any, what was that place that were in Poland? Um, there was Lublin in Poland, a small little club. People were just packed in there, and we played all the songs we could play. And then they were like, "No, no, no, more, more, more!" Picking up, our, picking up Dave, the drummer, and just sticking the back of the seat. More, more, more! And then everyone would just went Benny. Everyone just went bizarre. Dr- get pushed back into the kit. Everyone's going. Dr- Dave's playing on the side because the whole kit goes west. And that for me was just amazing as a gig, as a whole tour. Just Poland in general is just bizarre. I love it. Like the thing, there is a difference between like hardcore and metal kids as well. The hardcore kids are a bit standoffish, but metalers wear you know the hearts on the sleeves, and that's pretty new to us because we've always had to deal with. Pretty standoffish people, and not, not, you know what I mean. It's too cool to be school, too cool for school. I love it. I love metalers, and I loved it because it was metalers, punk, skinhead, skaters, a couple of little BMXs thrown in there in the mix, RTs. It was just, it was great. Poland, Lublin, amazing. I mean, there's something you must see on the tour, on the tour list. You think, why the hell are we going there? You know, and then you get there, like I said, you get yeah. this sort of surprise. Yeah, because you can play, you can play major cities. 
all the time. I think they get a bit lax and a bit, oh, we'll see them next time they come round, we'll see them next time they come round, we'll see them next time. And it's like, well, you go to the smaller places and I think they appreciate it. And from that point of view, we'll appreciate it because we've taken the time to go there and they've taken the time to come and see us. So it's a two way thing, it's not just we're this big band or this little band and we're just going to look at you and just like, well, you just got to respect us. It's not like that. We're playing the floor, we're on their eye level, get involved and have a good time and go home and that's it for us. I saw you at the back of White Wizard a bit earlier, uh, is there any sort of bands that you like to watch or do you like all metal? Yeah, I think I think, I think think there's the common thread throughout the band is we're, uh, we, we like metal, if it's prog, new wave of British heavy metal, a lot of crossover stuff coming in, uh, you know there's a lot of, four, four people, four different ideas and you know four into four interests i think that can spread it right across the board so everything really pork wind what was that what was that rock that they was going on about the other day he listens to any art if there's 20 songs 20 minutes a song he'll be there with knobs on he'll be there he'll be there in his cravat and his rotor toms that go on till next week he'll be there but yeah anything doesn't and finally, have you got anything you'd like to say to the people out there? New record? New record out in October on Earache. Stay in school. Don't drink and drive. Take your vitamins. Take your vitamins. Study hard. And brush your teeth. Obviously, I never. All right. That's it, mate. Mega. Nice.